not really on a rubbish collecting mission today. At this part of the bush, there's heaps of um, still heaps of rubbish. Is like you can't see it sometimes here under there. That's somebody's household rubbish. Just a shame that people do that. Another one there. But um, today I'm on more of a mission for getting some stuff out of the creek, which you'll see later. Just gotta change it up a bit, you know, you get bored otherwise. And come up to an interesting spot here. <gasps> this is where sometimes some of the local uh, homeless people end up living. Feel sorry for these guys, so you know the I met some of them have been rejected from society for whatever reason. Uh, they can't fend for themselves so they end up here. A lot of them just pushing around their trolleys around the streets and then they turn up here for a little while. This one looks to be abandoned for a while though. But they sure do leave a mess, unfortunately. Uh, We'll get rid of this one day too. Yeah. It's another rat trap over there. Not brave enough to go and look at them. Quite <laughs> find an ugly bit. I picked one up by the tail one time. Oh, it was only a mouse actually. Little thing curled up and bit me. <laughs> Fair enough. Big, big scary creature picking him up like that. We're kind of up real high here. You can see down there there's the river. Oh, that's something I want to get out down there. A um, tire down in the river there. I might get that one another day, it looks pretty deep there. I'll get what I can until I get help. More markers. More rubbish. <laughs> you can hear the traffic nearby. It's a great little campsite here. Again, somebody's left their tarp up. Here's the guardian, guardian of this campsite. <laughs> Few excavations. Maybe that's for a fire or something. <laughs> Who knows? Nice little area though. This is evidence that this area is kind of regrowth forest really. Because uh, all throughout this these banks there's all these um, these pipe works. It's a manhole there for it. So this is all juvenile stuff mainly. Quite a bunch of uh, foreign trees amongst all this lot too. Australian gum, those ones there. Here's the famous New Zealand fern. There's a beautiful silvery colour underneath. And we used to get told that when it was in primary school learning how to tramp through the bush and things for camps. That, uh, you know, as you're walking along, you've been one of these over. That says, that shows your track, where you've been. So, 
That way you never get lost in the bush. Stands out. But, uh, I mean, the paths around here are well established, so I don't need to do that. There's that symmetry I talked about a couple of videos ago. Awesome, eh? Awesome. Every branch and every leaf has its symmetry. Close to the road now. <laughs> He's hoping I don't fall. Alright, okay. This is where I wanted to start. Under the bridge. Get some of the uh, ethnic art. Yeah, awesome. Ah, this is what I saw the other day. Check it out. Beehive. No wondering where it was. He must be right up in there, in the concrete. Oh. Good a place as any. Excellent. See these uh, honeybees flying around when you're up on the bridge. Check that out. What a beauty. I think that's all honeycomb. I'll try and... I can't get any closer, that's a total zoom. You never know what you're going to see out here. Come and have an adventure, everyone. <laughs> this is what I come to get today. Bum -bum. And I'll see what else I can find. Up and down our river. Let's try that pan again. I don't know, it's something about flowing water to soothe the soul. Excellent. What I heard a testimony the other day of a man telling about how he was shown a God hovered over the waters in a near-death experience. How his spirit is kind of imbibed in the water. Maybe that's some of the reasons for why we really love it. Has that effect on us? Feed in water. Feels so good. Nice and summery at the moment. Great to do all that. Cool coolness happening on your feet. Let me see if I can get this. Beehive again. Yeah, man, that's honeycombs. Look at all the bees on the side.
Ooh, I wonder how much honey's in all that. Check that out. I may talk to my uh, friend. He's a beehive keeper. Might be interested in this little spot. Plenty of manuka here too, see? Probably, probably a mixture of different things. Wouldn't take it all because they're doing part of the job for nature. And wouldn't mind tasting some of that honey though. Hey? Here we go. Tire. I'll be making a little pile over here of stuff. Some of this is flood, flood, rubbish. We get it all in one place. A couple more items I put over there too, and we can deal with it later. Still blown away by that beehive, man. Fantastic. Oh, look, they're all along here. Holy cow. Ah, oh, somebody's already somebody's already attacked those ones. Look at that. Wow. Maybe they don't want people getting stung as they walk across the bridge. I got all this debris from in the bush down my back. And I keep thinking it's a bee. <laughs> the mind playing tricks on me. Oh wow, look. All the way along here. Here too. That's all that's old beehives. And someone's really done that one in. I don't have a problem with them being here. But whoever's deeming it to be necessary to take them out. Yeah. I was just thinking about taking maybe one or two little bits of the comb. See if there's any honey. <laughs> 